Hello guys, uh, this is Jonathan. Welcome to Beer Tour in Seoul and I will be looking at Jeju Pelong Ale. Jeju Pelong Ale is a sequel after the Jeju Wheat Ale by Jeju Beer Company. It consists of average alcohol 5.5% and it is said to be a little bitter. Uh, IBU is around 33 to 35. You guys are probably wondering what the Pelong is. Pelong is not an English word. Pelong is directly written Korean words and represented in alphabets, English alphabets. Pelong translates to twinkle, twinkle like twinkle like twinkle, twinkle, twinkle little stars that twinkle. So Pelong is, I'm pretty sure people living in Seoul, mostly about 80, maybe up to 90 percent of the people living in Seoul doesn't know what mm -hmm. the Pelong means. That's because Pelong is. A word that is used in Jeju Island. Well, if you look at it this way. Um, we speak uh, same English, but we have different style of expressions in each country, and we define it. That we define that difference by saying we they have accents. We have accents, unique accents. So just like that in Korea, um, the regions, each region, parts of Korea consists of their unique style of expression and words that are liter uh, that are technically Korean, but only the region people would express use the word to express their expressions. So Pelong means think when they launched this Jeju Pelong Ale, uh, they. They made an introduction saying that just like Jeju consists of harmonized plants, uh, flowers, and trees, along with the people people living in the beautiful island of Jeju, they wanted to express that directly by uh, blending with various types of hop to create this delicious beer. The first time when they said that, when I read it, um, I nodded respectively and I said, mm, okay, that's beautiful, also in a respectful manner. But in the bottom line, I really didn't understand that. Mm -hmm. What they were trying to say. I never get to uh, understand what they actually mean. It would have been actually better because Pelong means twinkle. It would have been better if they said at night time in the beautiful island Jeju, and you look, you look up in the sky and you will see many beautiful stars that you would not get to see in the cities. And just like that atmosphere you would feel being actually present in Jeju Island, looking up in the sky at night time, the beautiful stars. We wanted to express, give you that momentum of that peaceful Jeju vibe with a single single can of beer. That would have been better, wouldn't it? You know, my perspective anyways. Let's see the outside. So it's quite different from the Jeju retail side. The label is entirely in green, but pretty much same uh, typical arrangements of the text and the symbol and the lines like this. It's pretty much the same, just the colors are different. I guess they painted it in green to emphasize that they wanted to express the beauty of synthesized plants, flowers, and trees in Jeju Island. And let's open it up. So first, for the smell. It's very citrus. Uh, orange peel is most likely the correct expression to define its smell. And here is Jeju Pelong Ale for you. It's gold. It's clear, citrus, orange peel citrus taste. Highly citrus, refreshing. That low malt is there at the end taste. Very nice. Typical standard ale. Like a Belgian ale. A Belgian ale. Belgian ale. The, mu the must ingredient that Belgian ale consists of orange peels and coriander seeds. And because Jeju Island is, they are very famous with uh, Jeju orange. They use Korean Jeju orange peels to create this so, comparing this to the previous video of the Jeju Wheat uh, that that concentration of the Jeju peel, the Jeju orange peel they use to make the sale is stronger than that of the Jeju Wheat ale. That's for sure. And at the end taste, they raised that malt flavor at the end taste as well. And this is very refreshing. And and I, in a simple word, they upgraded. 
most more texture more identity has been put and more tasty more refreshing and it's like a point of a view watching a movie a sequel of a movie a good movie and they they debate people who have watched the sequel say oh the first movie was better no the second was better because they made improvement from the first i would say that kind of debate would definitely exist to the people who like this film and i personally would prefer second version the one after that the one after that came after that is retail the is bellow nail because it's more identity was emphasized and the flavor the scent and every piece of way that you would describe a beer did not prepare any food today i do talk a lot a lot about food pairing um i went up in the a their website and searched up which type of foods would they recommend to drink jeju kelong ale they suggested their recommendation is first spicy and cold stirred pork braised uh, braised fish calamari ceviche if you don't know what the uh, ceviches are it's a south american dish garnished appetizer uh, raw or cooked fish mostly cooked fish like this. but they are suggesting calamari um, they do have uh, their own unique food as well uh, there are many uh, one of the uh, food that i want to recommend is the black pork uh, they do taste whole different than the regular so I guess they suggested spicy cold stirred pork. Why not use the pork from Jeju, the black pork, and make the spicy cold stirred black pork instead of just just pork? That I think would be the best pairing for this food, as they have recommended by the by D company, the brewer. What's more, bitterness is higher than that of the Jeju retail and it's also a lot more refreshing so i'd say yeah bitter bitter like this refreshing at the same time uh the strong odor based food or that oily kind of food like tempura deep fried food would give you that refreshingness every time you have a bite from those food and i think this will be the perfect match to drink with uh, to eat it with I mean. so overall score that i would give to this beer would be around around 3.2 the reason behind is i love the level first of all it's beautiful not fully rich green but uh some i guess it's a pasture color green i love the level design overall and the taste uh when brewers uh when they put their craft mind into upgrading beer from the pre-existing beer that they made uh they would have to try and focus on making it different or making it better than the uh, first one i pushed Personally, I respect that uh, it must be very hard and upgraded version from the Jeju retail, but it's a whole lot better personally, in my perspective. And if you have not watched the previous video about the Jeju retail, please go ahead and come back to this video again, watch it again, and you will see the differences uh, that I point out. And I hopefully this video will clarify what this beer is about. And I say this every time in every video that I make. If you have a chance to grab one of these in your local areas, please go ahead. And this beer is actually well upgraded version of first beer. And I would say this is very enjoyable because it's very refreshing beer. And it's their concentration from that uh, unique Jeju Zoni orange has been raised up. And this, but they do need to work on those phrases. Symphony of tree, plant, flower, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blending with various hop to create this. Instead, they should have said that various stars that were telling me to go. Boom. What? Anyways, thank you very much for watching my video again. If you have any requests of a Korean beer uh, taste review, please leave that in the comments below and I will come back to you with that beer. Please make sure to subscribe and like the video. This was Jonathan and I will come back with more whole interesting beer next video. So stay tuned. See you next time. Bye bye.